Hi, welcome to Chapter 2 on Anatomy and Movement. This section coming up now is specific to anatomy. And when performing a plank and side plank, the muscles and ligaments, uh, the body that are um, operating from the tip of our head down to the tip of our toes, are all involved when doing um, these full planks and side planks. And hopefully uh, by using a model, um, I'll give you a little more insight into the musculature so you have a better understanding. Um, the musculature of the abdominals and the back and the hip will be covered. Um, then there's some video footage later on that um, I encourage you to look at describing the importance of the diaphragm and the pelvic floor so that when the diaphragm and the pelvic floor are functioning along with all of the abdominal musculature we create a strong cylinder for our spine to be stable in and when we create that nice neutral spine the muscles can work in their best um, position and in their provide us with the best contraction um, because their their alignment is at their optimum and so this is to help you optimize your planks and your side planks so that you can get the most out of strength in your core. In the overview of the anatomy involved in planks and side planks, um, I'm going to be using a model who is at a fairly high level, which doesn't mean that that's the only time that these mus muscles are in involved. Um, if you're working at your maximum, whether it's at a beginner level or an elite level, you are using all the same musculature and they're working just as hard um, for you to succeed at your plank and side plank. If you're feeling it, you're using it. Hi, welcome to Chapter 2, Anatomy and Movement. We're going to start with uh, using a model as our um, opportunity to learn about anatomy the, and the muscles that are involved in doing planks and side planks. So this is uh, an adjunct to what's in the book, but sometimes easier to see when it's on a real person. So first of all, um, under the anatomy of stability, when John's going to be performing planks and side planks, it's not just his muscles that are holding him in place, but the ligaments and the bony structure. Um, but I'm going to point out uh, the muscular um, stability that's involved both in the abdominal area and in the back. So John, thanks for volunteering. And I'm going to have you get into a side plank, please. So in the side plank posture, and you can put your hand up on your hip, perfect, okay, and bring it up on your, excellent. So the abdominal musculature that John is feeling, and John, keep your head in a nice neutral position. Um, John has some activation of his rectus abdominis, mainly the uh, abdominal fascia now is being worked on aggressively in that his oblique abdominals, so his external obliques that are coming in this way as though you're putting your hand in your, in your pocket, um, that would be the external obliques. John's fingers are pointing in the direction of his external obliques on the top and then his internal obliques are 90 degrees to the external obliques. So they're the outer layer. You can come down for a sec. Good job. <laughs> they're the outer layer, the internal obliques, and in the deeper layer, his transversus abdominis. All right, when looking at the abdominal musculature involved in holding a plank position, um, the rectus abdominis is working really hard with all of the oblique musculature um, supporting on the sides, and finally the transversus. The latissimus is having to support between the arm and the torso. It creates the connection between the upper body and the lower body. And then the hip musculature is supporting all the way through to maintain this position. So it's working really hard, glutes working as well. And finally, all of the paraspinals to keep the head up, 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 working and keeping the torso in its um, correct position. On the back side, the uh, fascia that's um, composed and responsible for, for, as a, an anchor to the abdominals is uh, called the thoracolumbar because this is the thoracic spine. This is the lumbar spine. And so John, when you go up into a side plank, please. Perfect, as I get pushed out of the way, sorry. Um, his musculature here, the, the latissimus dorsi, so you, uh, many of you have heard of doing lat pull downs. 
and so his lats are um, attaching to and becoming part of this thoracolumbar fascia where his transverse abdominis attached. Now this transverse abdominis is a muscle that goes right around John and each of us um, and that's the deepest layer of abdominals. So it's what's referred to as nature's back belt. Come on down. When John's in a side plank you can see the activation of all the paraspinal muscles and that's what creates the valley on either side of the spinous process. So the spinous process is the bony uh, structures that we feel going up the spine and the ridges here that are formed on either side of the spine are the paraspinals. Come on down. Thank you. The other musculature that's involved in planks and side planks aside from the core and the back and obviously you're noticing John working really hard through his shoulder is as we go down is the hip musculature. Hip, knee, ankle and so as John comes back up into a side plank you see the gluteus muscles working really hard especially on the bottom side and if he does any type of lifting on the upper side then you get extra activation of the glutes both on the bottom and the top through the musculature and gluteus maximus and medius are all working very hard. Thank you. Come on down. One of the other hip muscles that is strongly involved when doing side planks is the psoas muscle and although psoas is generally recognized as a muscle that bends our a thigh towards our chest, it attaches to the lumbar spine in the front. So it's also responsible for maintaining stability in a side plank position. And so as you can see when side planks are performed um, all the musculature around the um, torso is used and come up one more time John. And if John even comes up onto the outer edge of his foot, perfect. Then he's getting the e birders working. He's getting all the lateral musculature and the lower leg coming up and then all the way through the obliques, transverses, the lats, and up into to the shoulder. And finally, when holding his neck neutral, all of the lateral musculature of the neck are, is also working at the same time. So that's why plank will strengthen you from head to toe.